Okay, this is a quick video showing the simulation of a comparator circuit using a 741 off amp. There's a schematic diagram on the screen. Here's my input, which is a sinusoidal signal, 2.5 volts peak to peak at 10 hertz. That's being fed into the non inverting input of the 741. And then I've set a voltage reference at 2.25 volts using this 1k variable resistor that's connected between 5 volts and ground. And then at the output, we've got a 100 ohm resistor feeding into an LED. And the output's then going into an oscilloscope. And I'm also using the oscilloscope to look at the input screen. And we're supplying this op amp. 741 with plus 5 volts and minus 5 volts. Let's see it running. So, what we're getting is this signal here is varying between minus 2.5 volts and plus 2.5 volts being fed in there. This signal is always staying at 2.25 volts. And what we're seeing is that the output is coming on, going off. On, off. So the LED is flashing every time the signal at the input is higher than 2.25 volts. So, it's comparing. Hence the name Comparator Circuit. Let's look at the uh, oscilloscope screen, which, I'm sorry, was a bit big there. You can see it now. Uh, if we say normal, it goes really slowly. So when the input voltage is above 2.5 volts there, output comes on. Every time it's below 2.5 volts, it stays off. Now this works fine for this signal because it's really slow and it doesn't vary much. But if the signal was to vary a lot, we'd find that the output wouldn't know when to stay on and when to be off. Let's change the frequency of our input signal and you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to stop that there and close that. And we'll change the frequency of this there to, I don't know, go on 10 kilohertz. See what that does. And you'll now see what we should see is that the LED is coming on and off, but it probably is. We just can't see it because it's happening so quickly. But now, if you look at the oscilloscope screen, because the input signal is varying so much, the output never really comes on. Now, there's a way we can fix that. What we need to do is change the point at which the circuit comes on and off. So rather than expecting an exact 2.25 volts, as a reference, what we need to do is introduce something called hysteresis. So when the circuit is between something and something else, the output comes on. And that's what we're going to design in a minute. But for now, this is a very simple op-amp comparator circuit without hysteresis. Thanks for watching.